Hi, I'm Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today we are going to talk about the Trail Series by Outdoors RV. I'm standing in the 29 TRX, which is the longest of the three models that they're currently making. They make a 24, a 27, and a 29 TRX. These are called the Trail Series, which also a lot of people would call a toy hauler, but these aren't your average toy hauler. Yes, you can haul your side-by-side, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, whatever you want, your Harley, any kind of motorcycle or anything in here, but you also can think outside the box and you can use them for dog kennels. I've had people that use them for dog shows, hunting dogs, kayaks, pontoon boats, all sorts of options. So that's what's kind of unique to this is they tried to make it less of a toy hauler look and more of just an off-grid vehicle that has the cargo ramp, that has the door, that you can do everything and it has an amazing patio off the back end. So I'm gonna show you the front of the trailer first, the kitchen, the bathroom, bedroom, and then we'll head out and I'll show you the rear patio. So in the kitchen of the 29 TRX, it's gonna have the same trim level as a mountain series or the backcountry series in the Outdoors RV trailers. So high arc faucet, the farm style single basin sink, you're gonna have the same stove with the glass cover, knife rack, spice rack, flip up counter extension, a bank of three drawers, as well as a cabinet under the sink. Over here, you have a very large coat closet. You have a pantry in this corner. Ladies, you might need a step stool for some of these. Norcold eight cubic foot refrigerator. Now what you'll notice about the 27 TRX and the 29 TRX is that they have a bigger bathroom and a more private bedroom. So this one you have access to the bathroom from the kitchen area and then you also have a pocket door from the bedroom. So that's kind of nice. And then you also have a door to the bedroom. So this can be a very private space if you have other people staying with you in the back of your trailer. So in the bedroom here, you have the walk around queen bed, 60 by 80, so it's an actual queen mattress. You've got nightstands on both sides of the bed with USB ports, a 12 volt outlet, as well as 110 outlets. And then you have the safe right here on this side of the bed. The trail series, like the backcountry series, comes standard with 170 watt solar panel already installed on the roof. So that's the charge controller right there. The roof is pre-wired on all Outdoors RV models for up to 510 watts of roof mount solar. We have optioned in the additional Max Air Deluxe vent fans on all of our units. Now let's go take a peek at the uh, best part about this toy hauler. All right, so here we are in the main area of this trailer. And what people love about this is going to be the versatility, right? So as I already mentioned, yes, you can use this for kayaks or bikes or whatever, but you also have double bunk beds in the back. So if you're trying to sleep adults or kids or whatever, there's a lot of sleeping in here. Um, there's also a ton of storage, lots and lots of cabinets. So this is the 29, the 27, you are, it's gonna be two feet shorter. So you're gonna lose this window and lose this space right here, as well as this is all gonna be scooched a little farther over here. So that's really the only difference between the 27 and the 29. Other than that, they're identical. Um, one thing to note over here is going to be this closet that actually has a little gun rack in it. You could also use that for other things too. I've seen people hang um, backpacking backpacks or fishing poles or whatever. Um, in a lot of toy hauler models that I've seen over the years, one complaint is definitely that the TV is up in a corner. So if you, you know, you've gotten done riding motorcycles all day, you're already kind of stiff and sore, you come in to relax and watch a movie and you're craning your neck to see. This is something that we love about this model is that the TV is directly across from the recliners. Also, lots of light. So the huge picture window over here, windows the whole way around, and then the patio door is amazing. So it's an actual glass window door, which is very cool. So many of them are just a screen or plastic. 
you're actually getting what we would consider French doors in a travel trailer. So that's really cool. Um, you can also open up so you can have all the screens open and get a great cross breeze going through here. So that has been something that people have been raving about and would love to see on more models, especially, um, you know, again, high hopes, but we'd love to see a normal style trailer, but with a rear patio, that'd be super cool to see ORV do. You've got an in-floor toolbox. You have heavy duty D-rings in the floor to tie down whatever it is you're hauling. And then the rubberized diamond plate floor. You also have a rollout carpet kit. So let's say you got your machines out or you're not even using it for machines. You have carpet that you can roll out and make it uh, feel a little bit more like home. So now let's go take a peek at this patio. So here we are on the outside. This would be what we would call the patio deck, party deck. It's got the LED light strip under the electric awning. You've got a railing that goes all the way around and also a triple step that comes off of here. And this actually slides over. You can close this off. So I know a lot of people will put their dogs out here or whatever. Um, also, all of this railing will fold back up into here. So it's not like you have to haul it around and store it somewhere. It actually all goes in here when the door goes up. We actually have a separate video on that. So if you're curious how the ramp comes down, how this all sets up, Casey's gonna do a quick overview on that. So be sure and watch that video. Now let's take a quick tour around the outside. So here is the triple step aluminum step that goes up to the patio. That way, when your friends come over to join you for happy hour, they don't have to go all the way through your trailer to get out here to have a drink with you. They can come right up these steps. You've got your AlumaGuard wrapped electric awning with LED light strip underneath. Your exterior speakers, that's gonna run off of the CD DVD player inside as well as Bluetooth. So you can have it Bluetoothed with the speakers on outside and run it off of your phone. You've got a 110 outlet. Outdoors RVs all come standard with the off-road X4 suspension package. So they have heavy duty Dexter axles they're using the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension, the heavy duty shackles with bronze bushings, and then also the KYB off-road shocks. They're also doing the Goodyear Endurance Load Range G tires. That's a 14 ply tire on this trailer. You also have access right here to your 10 gallon water heater. This is going to be your tank fill where you're gonna fill your 100 gallon water tank exterior grab bar handle, triple aluminum step. I should point out that all of the windows are going to be dual pane. That is part of Outdoors RV's famous Four Seasons package. So they have one of the only true Four Seasons packages on the market. My brother and dad had a trailer just like this that they took camping into Colorado. They got down to negative five and did not freeze. So as long as you're running the heat, that's gonna keep your underbelly and all your tanks from freezing. Here is your extra large outdoor storage bay door, slam latch doors, magnetic catches. And then on the TRX models, you're also going to get the slide out tray. Part of that is because on the other side, you've got the Onan generator. So you can't really access the last third of this compartment. So they've given you this really heavy duty more ride sliding tray. You also have a couple of holders here. You can use those for an X. You can slide in a fly rod tube or whatever you wanna do with those. In this compartment, you also have a button for the power jacks. We option all of ours in with the power jacks. They do give you just slightly better ground clearance than the scissor jacks. There's also a battery kill switch. Now on this tray, this person is coming to pick up here pretty soon. So we've got the Thompson RV kit that we give to you. So it comes with the 15 foot Dominator sewer hose with the clear elbow at the end, the water hose, 25 feet, power cord adapter, water regulator, power cord. And then also Outdoors RVs all come with a T that comes off of the tanks. So it's pre-regulator meaning that you can run any LP appliance off of it. So a camp chef, you can do a two burner stove, a lantern, a fire pit, whatever you wanna do. That'll run directly off of that 
with this 12 foot hose. This coil hose with sprayer, I'll show you on the other side, that's gonna go to the pressure washer that comes standard on the trail series. And then this little kit here are all your air compressor accessories. There's also an air compressor already installed on this trailer. So not only does it have up to 510 watts of roof mount solar, you also have a pre-wired port for up to 200 watts of portable solar. We've got a full fiberglass front cap. These come standard with the four battery rack, the toy lock, two seven and a half gallon propane tanks, front power jack, as well as the little storage caddy for hooking your safety chain seven way and break away. Over here, you've got the generator compartment. This is slightly different than on the Backcountry Series. This is gonna be the Onan 4,000 watt gas generator, where the Backcountry Series has the 3600 because it's the LP generator. You've got sewer hose storage right there. Black tank flush. City water fill. You've got valves for your gray and your black, as well as a valve uh, dump light. This is where you're going to twist lock on your power cord, 30 amp service, satellite cable. This is access to your furnace, access to your refrigerator. And then over here you're going to have your air compressor and your pressure washer. This is a 60 psi pressure washer. When we come around here, this is going to be your ladder to access the roof. You just take these two pins out and it hinges this way and then when you're done using it you just put it up back up towards the uh, flush to the trailer. This is where you're going to fill your 40 gallon fuel station. That feeds into your generator and you can also use the, you can turn it on, turn off the pump and then you can actually pump gasoline into your uh, toys as well. Thank you for joining me today on our quick little video of a 29 TRX trail series. If you have questions, again, on how to put the rim up or down, Casey has a video showing you exactly how to do that. Uh, just let us know if you have any questions on this model versus say the 27 or the 24, and we'd be glad to answer those questions. Be sure and subscribe to our channel.